Now we will talk about the efficiency criteria in the perfectly competitive market. In the perfectly competitive market, we have the consumer and the producer, each of them trying to get uh, the maximum benefit or the maximum uh, utility. So the consumer trade until the, his marginal private benefit from consuming the unit equal the value of money that he gave up or equal the cost of getting this unit uh, by paying uh, its price. So uh, the consumer will be uh, satisfied when the price equals the marginal private benefit equal marginal social benefit. The producer or the firm will uh, have the maximum profit uh, when uh, the market price is equal to the cost of producing an extra unit or uh, equal uh, the marginal private cost. So the firm or the producer will be uh, 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 satisfied when the price equal marginal private cost equal marginal social cost. From the two equations, we can uh, say that the price equal marginal private benefit equal marginal private cost equal marginal social benefit equal marginal social cost. According to the previous uh, condition, price equal marginal private benefit equal marginal private cost equal marginal social benefit equal marginal uh, social uh, cost, the competitive markets achieve an efficient allocation of resources. Sometimes this uh, competitive market uh, makes an efficiency cases. Uh, this inefficiency in the competitive market because the prices uh, doesn't always fully reflect the marginal social benefit or doesn't reflect the marginal social cost of uh, the output because the natural of uh, uh, the good. Uh, for example, the services of uh, resources as water, uh, gas, or uh, electricity. Sometimes because the government activities uh, itself can cause this inefficiency like uh, the taxes to finance the government programs. Sometimes when the government put taxes on some goods and services uh, to finance uh, its programs, uh, it makes uh, the competitive market inefficient. So the failure of markets to make the available certain goods like national defense, environmental protection, for example, gives a demand for a government protection uh, and regulations. Uh, we have uh, two types or two cases for lose uh, the efficiency in the competitive market. Uh, number one due to taxes, number two due to subsidies. Uh, first, we have due to taxes. The tax, uh, the tax causes the amount of good or services that is treated to be influenced by the tax paid per unit not only the marginal social benefit or the marginal social cost. So the, these taxes will be uh, influence our uh, quantity or reducing or increasing the quantity according to these taxes. So the tax distorts the decisions of the market participants. Here in this graph, we see the loss of efficiency due to taxes. We have a telephone messages as uh, units in the horizontal X and its price by cents in the vertical X. The efficient point is E point, while the marginal social cost equal marginal social benefit or the supply equal the demand, the quantity uh, of the efficient output is uh, 4 billion uh, units of messages and its price is 5 cents per uh, message. When we have uh, taxes uh, on this uh, good, uh, the supply curve will be shift uh, inward to the new supply, while the marginal social cost is not equal to the marginal uh, private cost. The marginal private cost will increasing by uh, the taxes, so the price will increase to six cents per messages and the quantity were reduced to be uh, 3 billion uh, of unit messages.
so there is a lose in the net benefits from these uh, telephone services or telephone messages because the marginal social cost of the new equilibrium uh, in the point E dash is less than the marginal uh, social benefit. Uh, so the losses uh, according to these uh, taxes or the cost according to the taxes is the payment uh, paid uh, is the uh, payment paid by the pay the taxpayers uh, uh, plus the losses in the net benefit which we called excess burden excess burden it's the triangle uh, represented in the graph by e dash e p uh, it's reducing in the uh, benefits uh, of the consumer Another type of inefficiency in the competitive uh, markets, it will be due to the government subsidies. Uh, government often subsidize private uh, firms at a loss to make up the difference uh, between the price in the market and uh, what they want to get. Uh, for example, the government guarantee uh, the farmers a certain price for their crops. So when the price falls below this target uh, price, uh, the government will pay them a subsidy uh, equal the difference between the two prices.